This video is brought to you by Straight Goods News, Canada's alternative online news source. Visit straightgoods.ca. For years, the Conservative government has insisted that the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter is the only option for Canada's military. The Prime Minister has turned a blind eye to repeated delays, cost overruns, and technical challenges. The Conservatives have stubbornly refused to listen to the facts as many of our allies have cancelled or reduced or reconsidered their F-35 orders. And now today we understand why. Today's Auditor General report makes it clear that the decision to purchase the F-35 was rigged from the start. What we've learned is that the government's plan to acquire the F-35 was well underway four years before it was announced to the Canadian public. With almost no documented evidence to support its choice, the Conservatives began work in 2006 to sole source the contract to replace Canada's CF-18s. For nearly four years, they hid this from the Canadian public. Even more concerning is the fact that, according to the Auditor General's report, the Conservatives deliberately provided misleading information to Parliament regarding the costs of the F-35. The government knew the costs associated with the Joint Strike Fighter would increase, but they hid that from Canadians too. The Auditor General's report is a scathing indictment of how the Conservative government has bungled the F-35 since day one. For months, New Democrats have led calls to put this contract out to tender. In light of this damning Auditor General report, we're calling on the Prime Minister to finally establish a fair and competitive process to replace Canada's aging CF-18s. Thank you. If I could just follow up that you're conflating the government and the Department of Defense and the minister, what the Auditor General says he means by mm. his report, what he's getting at is that he audited public servants. He says national defense said this. National defense gave the minister yeah. an incomplete briefing. I'm still fishing for how you know what Peter McKay knew. Well, we have a system of government that has uh, ministerial accountability. And uh, the ministers, uh, as far as I'm concerned, are responsible for what comes out of those departments. I think it's misplaced, frankly, to put the blame at the feet of the bureaucracy. Um, when one looks at, at the sorry history of the F-35 uh, going back many years, to suggest that all of that uh, was um, uh, the fault of bureaucrats in either uh, the Department of National Defense or in Public Works, uh, I think is not fair, not reasonable, and, and frankly not in accordance with our system of government. It's the ministers that have to take responsibility uh, for information coming out of their departments. To suggest, too, uh, that um, financial numbers were released from the department in response to uh, the parliamentary budget officer's estimates uh, that were $10 billion shy of an estimate ni uh, just nine months previous and that the minister was not aware of that, I think really Is that the value that we want to spend? And without that information, we can't do that. So yes, we understand that prices have gone up. This program has gone on now for a good 10 years. And so the price is escalating, but at least we ought to know, and the Canadian public has an absolute right to know what those costs are, and then that decision should be based on the actual cost, not the fictitious costs. You know, Parliament can't deal in fiction. It can only deal in reality. And clearly, in this particular case, this government has been telling us a fiction, not the truth.